All right, hi everybody. Hey, look behind me. You see that? You notice I did some redecorating. Yeah. Um, but that's later. I'll explain all that later in a video that I will be doing prior this week. Um, but yeah, um, there's gonna be a live stream after I do this video, which is going to be. Breakable Machine Doll. Um, episode 2. This one was pretty damn good. To say the least. Um, probably give this a 4 out of 5. Yeah. Um, the guy, we got introduced to... Um, what did he do? That's right, we got introduced to... A few more characters in this episode. We had... Um, trying to think. Yeah, uh, Felix, who apparently is the president of the, uh, I think it was the disciplinary committee or the student council. Yeah, sort of thing. Yeah, we got introduced to him, and uh, he confronts uh, Raishin. Right, Raishin. Um, basically to ask him to help him, to help Felix in what is being called as, apparently dolls are being attacked and destroyed and everything. But before we get into that, beginning part of this episode, he confronts, now, Raishin is trying to find the person who killed his, um, parents. Yeah. Because apparently what happened was, we get a flashback in this episode, his parents were killed by this, by this Mag Magus, um, who had puppets, and he found this guy, this guy was walking around the campus at the school, and he confronted him, and we see the flashback, and it's pretty gruesome, well not gruesome, gruesome, we see him, you see his father's dead, his sister's supposedly dead, and it's pretty, it's pretty grim, it's pretty grim situation, and basically, um, you know, he sees this, and we go back from the flashback into the real time, and he basically confronts him, and he kicks out something, and boom, right then, six dolls come out of nowhere. With nine, with their with their swords to his neck, and he gives it to him, and he kind of confronted him because he, he and this guy he wants revenge on, because this guy supposedly killed his family. So, yeah, and it ended up being what it was. And this guy with the mask, he supposedly is the next person closest to getting to becoming. The wise man. So, yeah. That's basically what happened there. The rest of the episode, we have him and Yaya. That's where they get confronted after that. Well, not, not after that. Uh, yeah, right after that, I think. He gets confronted by Felix. And at Felix? Oh, surprise here. Oh, my God. Felix is played by... No. Yes, again. I think by the same guy does Aaron. What? Yes. Unfortunately, yes. He's in this anime. It's like, oh man, he's getting so much work. <laughs> Keeps getting work. But yeah, he, he play he plays that character. Um and basically he's con Felix is telling him, you know, he wants to he wants him to help him in finding the the these culprits in this this situation that are being these that, that the dolls are getting killed off. And he walks away. He says he's not interested. And then he says, even if I help you get into the festival. And that's when, whoop, Raishin wants to listen. So basically, they're inve he then has to investigate this situation with this guy. And the culprit is supposedly known as Cannibal Candy. Um, I think that's the name of the episode, actually. Let me just go check. Yeah, Cannibal Candy 2. That's what, in fact, in fact, that was the name of episode 1. So, 
And they he goes with them to investigate the situation. And we see Charlotte there and and there was also another scene in the classroom with him and Charlotte or the classroom and then the the, the professors that that teacher man and his advisor oh my god what a bitch she's such a bitch i'm like give me a stick so i could smack it over top of her head for being such a douche like for reals but anyway you know charlotte sees them charles she sees them talk he's talking to felix and then walking away and you know the dragon oh my god that dragon that dragon she has? Listen, I cannot take that dragon seriously. That dragon is, is it's like you hear Kodamine from Fate Zero, and you're like, Jesus Christ, that is the most ridiculous dragon in the world. But anyway, and he tells her, you know, a whole bit. There was a little part here. Tells her, you know, he treated me like a person. Yeah, so to speak. Then after that, they, they investigate, and they see the, 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 the carnage of the doll, and it's, they call it the Eve heart, it was ripped out, yeah, ripped out, turned to pieces, it was like a pretty gruesome sight, and that's when they start investigating a little further, um, behind this, and he tells him, he tells Felix, Right, she said, oh, I'll, I'll, do, I'll go under my own investigation on this matter. And he walks away. And that's when um, his assistant, Felix's assistant, decides to talk to him privately. Right, she tells him about that the one that might be responsible are dolls that, were, that are not supposed to be used. That aren't supposed to be implemented, which are dolls that that I forgot the name specifically, but they said um, they were dolls that used flesh and blood, and one of the dolls that used flesh and blood is Charles' doll, which is Rex, Dragon. So he's informed in the, he's informed of this and so on and so forth, and then he finds out later on he goes on a date with oh he goes on a date with Charles. I'm like Jesus Christ, man, what's going on here? And he goes on his <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's like, yeah, she's crying. For whatever reason, she was crying pearls? I, well, she's not human, so maybe that that's the reason why I found it weird. She, I shouldn't find it weird, but she was crying pearls with, with, um, Sigmund. That's his name, Sigmund. Um, and she, he's informing her, the dragon, like, you know, we're not like humans. We can't date our masters and all this other jazz. Uh, it was just, it was just funny and weird at the same time. So, pretty much, um, you have that ending, that situation, and he goes on a date with 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 Charles and everything. And when they get back, well, he informs her, you know, a whole bit of what she, what what he's trying to get at with the festival. And he's saying that the whole reason he challenged her was because he wanted to fight. It would make no difference. It would be stupid for me to challenge somebody that was an easy win. You know, that's his whole bit on that. Then they go away from the date. After the date, they go back to the academy. And something has happened. There are lights, bright lights and shit. And apparently, Cannibal Candy attacked again. And he's thinking, and he's like, oh shit, Yaya. And she runs in to, to see if Yaya is okay. And that's where it ends. So, this episode was pretty good. And we saw the, the closing in this episode, too. Closing's pretty weird. I mean, ah, the closing is very strange to me. It's like the opening is, is it's like two words. It's like, this show, you can make a case for being West meets East. Yeah, I mean that. It's basically the Far West, which is England, meets the Far East, which is Japan. You make a case for it. You can make a, a general, logistically general case for that being true in this um, show, in this anime. And that's what we have with the closing. The closing was the Far with Far East music, and we have we have Yaya and these other two characters, these other three characters, I should say, that are probably going to be introduced later on. So. And 
like I said, overall, this was a good episode. I, I liked what was going on in it. Thought it was interesting that we get this now. It's kind of funny we got episode one. Episode one covered a lot of shit. I was like, damn. How do you cover all that stuff in that one setting? But you got to remember, people, this is the light novel. This isn't the manga they're doing. And the light novel is a whole different ball game. So, yeah, that's probably why. But overall, good episode, four out of five. Want to see, want to see Cannibal Corpse. I mean, can I say Cannibal? I mean, Cannibal Candy. I want to see this. I want to see this this doll that Cannibal Candy has. Sounds interesting. I, I want to see where this goes from here. So yeah, you know, there's that. But yeah, that's all I got for you guys. So yeah, this was a good episode. I I, I can see it moving. It's moving. The pacing in the show is is. I don't know how to, how to describe it. It's like fast, slow, you know. But it's a light novel they're doing. So it's a little bit different. Yeah. So yeah, that's the story, people. I'm Bonkai922. See you guys later. After this, I'm going to do this live stream. Oh, my God. That's all I have to say. Call in the... um. Because what I'm about to tell you guys in this live stream... Holy shit. We went down this past weekend. Oh, shit. But hey, you look behind me and you're like, I did some renovating. And there will be more renovating going on. I might actually do the live stream on my bed just to show you what it looks like behind me. You get the gist. Also, there's some of the things I want to talk about in this Comic-Con, in this live stream. So yeah, look forward to that. But yeah. Regular Machine Doll, good episode, four out of five. I want to see what Cannibal Candy looks like, man. It's got to be, it's got to be a doll that's really dark, because it's supposedly the same as um, Charles Sigmund. It's made out of flesh and blood, parts of flesh and blood. So this should be interesting. How they're gonna swing this? So we'll see, we'll see. I'm Bonkai Night Twenty Two. I'll see you guys later. That dragon. <laughs> oh, that dragon. Dragon, can he get a different voice for the dragon, really? I hear Kodabine's voice, and I'm like, no, why? I'll deal with it, I'll deal with it. So yeah, I'm Bonkai Night Toy 2. See you guys later. Peace.